just uh, if the if the you can't play the Brazilians, Jürgen, do you think the integrity of the Premier League is compromised this season because for some reason not all of the Brazilians have been banned? Well, obviously the Charleston has not been banned, and it doesn't doesn't really. Richard, like nah, Rich, Rich, Richard, no. Richardson played the Olympics. Come on, he played the Copa and played the Olympics. If he, he was not invited, I think that would be a real joke. Anyway, it's if, no. I don't think I'm famous for for having too much positive words about Everton, but that's absolutely not. Um, I don't, not nothing. I even thought a second about. No, uh, I think my personal opinion is nobody should be banned. Because there was no solution for us to to get around that. So obviously, in the game, we all know the game Brazil against Argentina, and because the Eng the Argentine players came to um, Brazil, I think they came from another country, but they were in the last 10, 14 days in England. They should have made a quarantine there. So when, as long as all the countries use their own rules for something like that, it may, it, we will not get out of that. So we cannot say sport in general is not the most important thing. People said that before the Olympic Games, and I think the Olympic Games were a great tournament and everybody or event, and everybody loved watching it. Was it exactly right how that happened? I don't know how the Japanese think about it now. Then we have the Copa America. It, 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 they played the games, and we let, let the players there, going there, even when they obviously can organize a Copa America like every year. So, and we have no influence on that. And now they give us the three games, we, how we always do, let the players go, but we can't because when they come back, they cannot play. I'm not sure exactly, but it would have been, I think, five games. I don't know exactly. So for sure, Leeds, for sure, AC Milan, definitely Crystal Palace, probably Norwich. So at least four games for sure they couldn't have played. So, and that's so. Where, where's our? We cannot. We cannot just sit here and just say, yeah, no problem. Let them go. We, but we don't make any kind of these decisions. We didn't organize the tournament. We didn't ask for three games now in an international break. We didn't say um, play the last game on Thursday, which is again of, in fa favor of the Brazil or the South American um, countries. The last possible moment, they play the third game. So nobody thinks about the clubs. Nobody thinks about the players. And that's how it is. And now we sit here and get punished for it. It's, I don't think it's okay. But if it's like this, I cannot change it. Then we just, we want to go to Leeds as, as difficult as it is. We want to go there and win the game. And of course, we want to use our best players. But always, like it always is, if they cannot play, we will go there, we will not use it as an excuse and play our best players. So in that moment, it's all fine. Um, but it's not right. And I, I be, as much as we talk about it, it is always the, the situation. You all could say exactly the same things I say now constantly. So the fifth or sixth time in only this press conference. But because you don't do this, because you only write what I say, people can make up it. Yeah, Klopp thinks only about Liverpool. This is about because they have, don't have the Brazilians. It's not. We have a problem in football. Somebody organizes tournaments and doesn't care about the players who have, have to be part of the tournament. That's the situation at the moment. So, and that's not, that doesn't sound right because it's not right. I'm going to stick up for them. They have written extensively on this. Since I know what you're saying. So, there, there are opinion pieces out there as well. Sorry, Chris. They will uh, go to Dave Maddock and then we'll, we'll go to Paul at the end. Uh, Dave, on to you and then Paul. <coughs> there you are. Yeah, actually, I was going to ask you uh, not, not about Liverpool, but about the sort of wider feeling in football because you obviously have. Um, a lot of contacts. You know a lot of people in in different leagues, uh, not just the Premier League around the world. And I just wonder, like, have you gauged the reaction? Because it does seem insane what is currently mm -hmm. happening. Look, the, the the clubs. I think when 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 the discussions came up before this last this last international break, now which ended obviously last night at one thirty, um, were with all clubs in Europe, and they were all had all the same opinion, but they didn't have all the same problem. Because Brazil, I'm not sure, but Brazil is for sure a red list country for England, but it's not a red list country for Germany. I don't think it's a red list country for France. So it's not the same problem. But the problem, and this is a specific problem, but a problem in general that we are not involved in, the, in, all, in all these kind of decisions. We will see now when we say, I think probably all footballers say immediately, no, we don't need um, a World Cup every two years. But... 
it might happen anyway. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, why you ask um, if you're not interested in the opinion? Um, and that's the, that's the situation. So, of course, not good, but it was not the same problem for all leagues because Brazil is not for all countries on the red list, but it is for England. Like England is, by the way, for Brazil as well. It's funny enough because then a Brazilian player who is, can come to Brazil, I think, and would not, have to be, would not have to quarantine. But the Argentinian player who is coming to Brazil from England has to quarantine. Interesting. <laughs> because that's why they cancel the game. I, 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 don't, I don't get all these kind of things anymore, but it's, um, it is how it is. Thank you, Dave. We're going to go to Paul. And just before you start, Paul, if I could just say to the Sunday guys again, I can only take three or four of you if you want to put your hands up now. that will be first come, first serve. But Paul, for the last bit in this particular embargo and breakout section. Jürgen, when you saw Arsene Wenger, did you tell him you were opposed to the uh, World Cup every two years? Look, it's, that's, that's now really, that, that's the thing. Usually these kind of things should stay private. But in that situation, with all the things that I say constantly about more games and stuff like this, there were two things which what Arsene showed me that day. Apart from a lot of nice things we spoke about and stuff like this and the really good relationship we have, there were two things. It was a, the idea about a tournament every two years where I said immediately, I, I, that's more games and the other years they have other tournaments that means every year tournament no chance I don't that's not right uh, um, and the other thing was like decreasing the amount of uh, international breaks that you have longer spells for qualification let me say the October is a complete um, they can play five six games then the, the national teams but no league games I don't know. Was too. That was a little bit too high for me. I didn't understand it one hundred percent. I know they wanted to put in there all the international games. Nice, and for that, no other breaks until December or whatever, or, or even longer. So this idea we can could talk about, but I don't think um, it will change the whole football world. But having a tournament every two years, of course, I cannot be in favor of it because I think we play already. Where is the good old, very important preseason? Where there's no tournament at all. Where we, then they say, yeah, but then the clubs will play tournaments. But the clubs can decide that. It's only a few games abroad or whatever, which is important for the clubs as well. But you have a preseason from six to seven weeks, and now all people who train for a big, big um, competition need preparation. If you go to Olympics, they go high in the mountains for, for, for um, blood cell reasons and train there incredibly hard and are then well prepared for the moment when they have to, when they have their um, competition. But footballers just play. Footballers play the whole year, then they have three weeks off, then they have two weeks preseason, and they play again. That's footballers. How do you want to Im improve this game if you only play? You cannot. You just do what you do. But it's the people out there, they don't listen. <laughs> Nobody listens. So it really doesn't make sense to talk too much about it. What we did, obviously, you know, <laughs> since half an hour nearly. 